Don't forget to head over to HowToWrench.com when you're done watching this video for hundreds of other ones just like it. Still not finding what you need? You can hire me as a personal coach to get you through what you need. Make it a great day and enjoy this free video. Joe and I are going to do kind of a fun little example and talk about uh, dowel pins or collars or how important they are. And we're going to demonstrate that here on this radiator of this RC-51. Pulling this bike apart, what we realize is there's missing pieces. So guys, in class here, what is it that we use to guarantee everything's present? We use a parts fish. And what you're going to see here is everything that's required. So if there's 15 pieces required here, what's required on the motorcycle? 15, 15 pieces. Okay, so as I pulled this radiator back off to do some routing of the wiring here, what I noticed here is I had on one side of the bike, I had a collar, and on the other side I didn't. On this particular bike here, why don't we kind of tighten in and take a look here. And we could see the size of that hole there, okay? And if I were to just put a fastener on there, you can see that I have a lot of room to flop around. I, you can't see this in the video very good, can you? Well, that's where Joe comes in. So, Joe, we're going to take advantage of uh, you here. And Joe here is going to let us borrow his ear here. So, on Joe's loop here, we're going to use the idea that this bolt in here has a bunch of room to move around. The idea of the collar is that it would take up that entire space there. You don't have to press it in. But it's something that's going to be sized to where it couldn't move around. So hopefully that close up there is going to be. Thanks for letting us use your ear. No problem. All right. Let's actually go back to the bike here. Joe, can I get you to do the work for me? Yeah. Okay. Joe's going to do it wrong first. So Joe, would you go ahead and install that without the collar? What's he doing right now to that rubber grommet? Smashing it. Smashing it. Okay. So we said that, you know, to be successful, one part affects another, affects another, affects another. Now, the idea of this radiator here is that it's supposed to be rubber mounted, okay? So if he tightens that down enough, go ahead and tighten it down some more. That's good. Now, I'm gonna grab this radiator and see it doesn't move very much, okay? The, the point there is, is if this can't move, what's gonna happen to this bracket? Break the leak. Why is it gonna possibly break a weld? Because it doesn't have enough movement. Because yeah. what's happening on this bike? Vibration. vibration. Okay, there's vibration. There's three places for this to be rubber mounted. Let's go ahead and take that off and do it the right way. Now, if that weld breaks or this bracket breaks, where's the antifreeze go? Could go the back tire causing an accident and somebody could get hurt. This simple little collar here has a pretty big purpose, doesn't it? Yeah. One thing we learned in class here... Uh, was especially for these dolphins when they're going against you got the metal going against the rubber and a lot of times if you don't have that lubrication it's going to get pretty dry in there where it's going to be forceful where if you lubricate it which i'll do here just put a little bit of lubrication on there that should be able to go in without a problem if you're installing it. it makes it a lot easier for when you're actually installing you're not going to worry about tearing that rubber or anything else while you're installing it could you also lubricate the just the seal you can itself cover the seal as well so watch what's going to happen here. And he goes ahead and tightens this up. That collar, the design of it is that metal is going to butt up against this metal, allowing a full torque application without any distortion of the rubber. Now, you see how that radiator floats on there? Yes. yes. Okay, so that's the proper way to do that. The other thing we'd want to make sure and check our service manual for is whether it requires a Loctite. Now, since this one fastener was uh, not installed correctly. Do I have fear maybe in the other ones? Yes. If we have human error on this one because they didn't take advantage of this, I'm gonna not trust the other one. So where can we use today's lesson here? Uh, it's real commonly found on body work. Boy, I don't know how many times you take apart a, uh, a side cover or a, a plastic fairing on a sport bike or uh, an ATV fender or something and the plastic is all smashed up and mushroomed or whatnot. And it's just unneeded. And if you follow this technique shown in this video and talk about using the microfish and talk about uh, making sure that you have the parts, making sure they're in the right direction. But what we really want to try and identify this video is that you have the ability to question, hey, I don't think this is right. This piece of plastic, this windshield, this cover that's being smashed here, watching the rubber spit out or anything else, just you being able to look at that and go, hey, something isn't right about this. I hope you found this video useful. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, would you please do so? Also hit that notification button so you'll know about all our future videos. As I always say, keep wrenching and make it a great day.